The crew for SpaceX's next all-civilian space mission is gearing up for their five-day space flight in March. In addition to their G-Force underwater and emergency training, the group is taking on a new angle of endurance training, participating in the St. Jude Memphis Marathon this Saturday. The Polaris Dawn crew will join some 26,000 runners on the course. And Polaris Dawn mission specialists Sarah Gillis and Anna Menon are joining me now, along with Rick Shadiak Jr., the CEO of ALSAC, the funding uh, and awareness organization of St. Jude Children's Research Center. They all join me now for more. Thank you all for being here. Sarah, I want to start with you. You're going to be running the 10K, Anna, the half marathon. Why do this as part of your training? You know, this is such an uh, amazing organization that we're partnering with in this mission and having the opportunity to um, see these families run with the cancer survivors and their families and really engage at a deeper level is going to be super meaningful as part of our training. Now, Anna, your training also includes things like zero gravity research, flights, fighter jet training. Uh, the Polaris Dawn crew is even set to perform the first commercial spacewalk. So how has it been doing all that training in addition to training for the marathon? You know, I think it's been really additive. I think that all of these different pieces really build upon each other. We learn the, the technical skills um, with SpaceX. We learn to work together and then we have to employ all of the physical endurance that we are learning through doing this marathon um, to really perform well at this spacewalk that we'll do. Now, Rick, at the marathon, you will cross the finish line about a half a dozen times, uh, running with the final, uh, running the final, I should say, with multiple patients, uh, families. What does this race mean to you? It's been incredibly special over the 13 years that I've had the privilege of leading this organization to see kids that have battled childhood cancer, successfully battled it, and then they're out there competing in an endurance race. Uh, and to see the emotion, it's pure emotion of, of accomplishment, of knowing that they, they've kicked cancer. Uh, so it's really, really special. And they're super excited about the four crew members coming out and running with them as well. So, Sarah, what's your advice to kids right now watching, looking up to you and those St. Jude's kids that you meet at the hospital? Uh, what's your advice to them watching you this weekend in the race and then also when you head into space next year? Gosh, you know, when I was a little girl growing up in Colorado, I don't think I could have imagined this future and I don't think I could have envisioned what was coming. So I think more than anything to all those all those little girls out there, I really hope that they're they're able to see something that they didn't think was possible in us um, and to, to reach to do stuff that they didn't think was possible, both in running this marathon as well as in life in general. And Anna, same question to you. Yeah, you know, I think the, the message that stands out to me is hope. Um, I, I think that really, like Sarah was saying, this is, you know, what we're living and really even for me running a half marathon, it's not something that I imagined I would be doing and capable of doing. And so I think, you know, dream big and have hope. And I think, um, you know, really beautiful things can transpire in your future. Sarah Gillis, Anna Menon, Rick Shadiak, thank you all for your time today. Thank you so much. We will be watching thank and you. rooting for Thanks you so next year. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.